Severe storms took down several big trees across Tulsa, damaging property and blocking roads. News on 6's Brian Dorman is live in South Tulsa this morning. Brian. Hey, Craig, good morning to you. We certainly cannot catch a break this week, can we? I live in the Tulsa Hills area. It was my third time taking shelter this week. And uh, boy, this was really scary as these storms came racing across southern Tulsa County this morning. As Stephen mentioned, uh, tree damage widespread across Kellyville, Sepulpa, Jinx, Tulsa Hills over to Broken Arrow. And I want to show you some of that damage here. Take a look at this, uh, a pretty good sized tree. We are live at the Jackie Cooper Auto Dealership right along 93rd and Memorial. This tree came crashing down in this brand new Mercedes SUV. The good news here, it doesn't look like this vehicle is too banged up. Of course, we're not going to know the extent of it until that tree comes up off of it, but just scratches, it appears. And now that it's finally daybreak, folks are going to be able to get out and see what damage they may have in their yards and their neighborhoods as well. And I want to show you, Craig and Stephen, just the base of this tree. We've seen a lot of trees down across the area. Some snapped off at the base like this. Others uprooted. Of course, the ground very, very saturated. Uh, we are going to be headed out from this area to 100 First and Hudson over by Oakmont Estates, where a large tree came crashing down through a fence and into the roadway. So that's going to be our next location before 7 o'clock. And Craig, I just want to mention this morning as folks are headed off to church uh, to be careful on the roadways. I saw a pretty good accident at 81st and Memorial, a truck slamming into the back of another truck, stopped at an intersection without power. You want to make sure this morning you're treating those as a four way stop. Live for you right now in South Tulsa, Brian Dorman, Oklahoma's own News on 6. The storm took down several big trees across Tulsa, which damaged property and blocked roads. News on 6's Brian Dorman is live in South Tulsa for us. Brian. Yeah, Craig, uh, good morning to you. We continue to track the damage across South Tulsa. Thankfully, it's minimal. Uh, a piece of this fence uh, came blowing off down the line here uh, where a tree broke. You can see a section here blown over as well. Uh, as we go a little bit farther down, we got one tree down. You also see uh, some branches there that came off the other trees, thankfully missing uh, the the power lines there, just a near miss, but uh, some pretty big trees. When I came through here around two o'clock this morning, uh, you couldn't even drive through here because the uh, the tree was actually in the roadway blocking traffic. Uh, I just off camera here uh, to my right is Oakmont Estates, and then across the street is Camelot Park. We're along 101st and Hudson in South Tulsa. Uh, I was able to get a, a gentleman leaving Camelot Park. He confirms they are still without power this morning. Uh, across the street, it appears that they don't have power either still at Oakmont. Estates, but it's very sporadic because right behind me, I can see some of the front porch lights on here behind me. So it's really hit or miss on who has power and who doesn't across South Tulsa this morning. We did see power crews pull into Camelot Park here within the past 15 minutes, so uh, they're certainly on that right now. We are headed from here. Next, we're going to Riverside Market. Of course, over there, you have Cole's, Starbucks, Five Guys right there along uh, the mansion apartment complexes over there as well. Some trees down and some patio furniture thrown about uh, the parking lot. So that's can be our next live shot for you a little bit after the top of the hour. For now, reporting live in South Tulsa, Brian Dorman, Oklahoma's own News on 6. The storms knocked down a number of trees across Tulsa, damaged property, blocked roads. News on 6's Brian Dorman joins us live in South Tulsa with more. Brian. Craig, good morning to you. I was just looking at those aerials too out of El Reno. I first want to say, you know, of course, our thoughts are with those in El Reno and in our area in Sepulpa, the hardest hit town across green country, almost makes the damage that you see behind me almost feel insignificant. But I want to show you nonetheless, because this is what most folks across green country are going to be dealing with. As you're waking up this morning in your own yard, you're probably going to have tree branches, maybe trees down as well, lots of branches. We look across the street here. We are live at Riverside Market. This is right along Riverside Park. Parkway and East 96th Street, a shopping center here, of course. Uh, you've got Kohl's, Shoe Carnival, Petco, Starbucks, Five Guys all along here. Another tree down across the street. There's several more uh, across the way as well. The good news here in this shopping district is there's power. Uh, as we've been driving around this morning, we've noticed it's really hit or miss on who has power and who doesn't. But, of course, that's going to be very good news on this Sunday for this shopping center to have power. We're right next to, by the way, the mansion's apartment complex. A lot of you, of course, going to be waking up to just minor twigs and be able to clean up very very quickly. Others are going to have to fire up the chainsaw here this morning across green country. The hardest hit areas really have been across South Tulsa. We have one more live shot for you, Craig, coming up. We're going to head on over to River Spirit Casino. Some larger trees down there. In fact, a couple even uprooted. Of course, the ground very saturated. We're also going to talk about the flooding concerns over there at River Spirit. We'll have that for you before the top of the hour. Live in South Tulsa, Brian Dorman, Oklahoma's own News on 6.